Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We're so happy to have you here. We thought we'd get started pretty early um, to respect the time of all of you that are here today to learn about the Certificate in Neuroscience offered through Penn LPS Online at the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, my name is Jamie Kelly, and I am the Director of Certificate and Non-Degree Programs at the College of Liberal and Professional Studies at the University of Pennsylvania. And you are here to learn about the certificate. So our, our goal in this session is that you will leave feeling like an expert in terms of what the certificate is composed of and it will help you decide if the certificate is right for you. So I want to introduce you to the room. This is a Zoom seminar and in order to participate, there's a couple things that are helpful to know. Uh, first, at I believe the bottom of your screen, you're going to see a button that says Q&A, and in that button, we encourage you to enter your questions that you have throughout the presentation. Most of those questions will be answered at the end, um, and some questions will be answered during the presentation. Another cool thing about question and answer is that you can upvote people's questions and also ask follow-up questions, so I encourage you to use the Q&A function. The next option is the chat option, and the chat option is great if you're having any technical issues during the presentation. Shoot us a chat and let us know what the issue is so we can assist you. And then lastly, at the end, when we're answering your questions, you can also use the raise hand function, which you can find in the participants section, and that will allow you to ask a question live today, and we can answer it for you. So, Thank you again for joining us and we're gonna get started. So I wanna tell you a little bit about the certificate program itself. The certificate in neuroscience at the University of Pennsylvania is a four course certificate. And each course in the certificate is equal to four credit hours or at Penn, something we call a course unit at Penn. So the entire four course sequence is equi uh, equivalent to 16 credit hours. Now these are University of Pennsylvania classes and they are very much for credit. So it's different than something like a MOOC or learning online. These are classes that will show up on a University of Pennsylvania transcript. Each class is accelerated, it's only eight weeks. So you're going to be putting in 15 to 20 hours a week of work into every class. And you can complete this certificate on a part-time basis in one year. The classes are asynchronous, so no matter where you are in the world or when you like to study, you can participate in these classes, um, but they are not self-paced. So you will have deadlines for assignments throughout the week, and you should expect to be participating in the class on a daily basis. The program is fully online, so again, no matter where you are in the world, you can participate in the program. And we also offer an advanced certificate for students who want to take two additional courses after completing the initial four. When you register for the first class in the certificate, which is NER 100, you are going to be assigned a learning assessment now this assessment is mandatory and it's designed to gauge your prior knowledge of biology, chemistry, and physics to make sure you're prepared for the course. The learning assessment will help you determine if there's any academic preparation you need to do before beginning the certificate. The cool thing about this learning assessment is that if you get a question wrong, you will be sent resources that will help you prepare in that particular topic. If you're unable to pass the assessment successfully, you can still remain in the course, but we recommend that you consult with your academic advisor about next steps. So next, I would like to present my colleague, Dr. Hearding, and she will tell you a little bit about the courses in the Neuroscience Certificate. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Hearding. I'm one of the instructors for the Neuroscience Certificate classes. So as Jamie mentioned, the first class in the sequence is Neuroscience 100, Introduction to Neuroscience. And that class is hosted on a central course site on a platform called Canvas. So you'll find all the course materials there. And that will include videos by the course professor, Dr. Michael Kane, 
that will be supplemented by readings. Now, some of the classes do have an assigned textbook and others have all of their course materials on the Canvas site. After watching the videos and doing the readings, then students move on to problem sets where their understanding of the material that they covered in the videos and the readings can be explored in greater depth. There are always discussion boards. Again, these classes can be taken asynchronously, but that doesn't mean that you're off on your own. Discussion boards are a valuable way for students to interact both with each other and with the professor. They can ask questions there. They can suggest other resources. Professors also have office hours that, can, that students can come to each week. Those office hours are recorded. So even if you can't make it because of a time constraint, you can watch those uh, office hours later. And then finally, with some frequency, every one to two weeks, students take exams on the course material. So after taking Neuroscience 100, then students can choose the courses within the area that is most interesting to them. To complete the certificate, you would take four courses. And these courses span neuroscience topics from the function of the peripheral nervous system in controlling body physiology to the function of the central nervous system in controlling behavior. We offer classes on music and neuroscience, the role of hormones in affecting behavior, as well as an advanced class on the functions of different neurotransmitter systems in behavior and disease. You can see here the different faculty members in the program. Uh, my own background is in chemistry and pharmacology. I received a bachelor's degree in chemistry from the University of California at Davis and a master's degree in chemistry from the University of California, Berkeley. My PhD is actually in pharmacology and I got it right here at the University of Pennsylvania. My thesis work was on angiotensin II, which is a hormone that's involved in body fluid regulations. After my postdoctoral work, I took the position of Associate Director for the Neuroscience Undergraduate Program at Penn, which I've held for more than 15 years. One common question is who would be most interested or benefit the most from the Certificate in Neuroscience? And I'd say there's a variety of different positions for which this certificate would be very useful. Uh, most obviously, including people working in related science or health professions fields, people working in laboratory settings, either in academia or in industry, would benefit from an understanding of how the brain works and how it controls behavior and physiology. But people that, work in, that are working in fields that are just tangential to neuroscience could also benefit from this knowledge, such as lawyers or consultants in the healthcare field. Thank you, Dr. Hearding. So I wanna talk a little bit about um, what your experience will be like outside of the classroom as a Penn LPS online student. So um, your experience at Penn is not just in the classroom. There are so many wonderful support systems that will be there for you. Um, the first is that we offer 24 seven tech support for our students. So if you're having any technical issues, no matter what time of day, there will be someone to answer your call or your email and support you. In addition, we offer 24-7 tutoring, and with that tutoring, you can log in and get assistance with math, with science, or with writing, and uh, our students do adore having uh, tutoring at the wee hours of the morning. Additionally, each student is assigned an academic advisor, and their advisor is there to help them decide if they're prepared for coursework, to help them plan out their studies at the University of Pennsylvania, and just be a person to talk to about academics and their future. We also offer career advising. And in our career advising, we have workshops, book clubs, we work on resumes, lots of great options if you are looking for career support. We also have access to the Penn Libraries and the university libraries have robust um, online an online presence and there's so much that you will be able to have access to as a University of Pennsylvania student. Student Disability Services is another important office at Penn. If you need um, any accommodations in the classroom, we want to get you set up with Student Disability Services early so that our instructors are prepared to support you. 
And lastly, I want to talk about the My Penn LPS online community. I love this community of students. It is a online space where our students can get to know each other, talk, collaborate, see what events are going on on campus, rub shoulders, maybe network a little bit. And we also host monthly chats with our staff and our students so we can get to know each other and each monthly meeting has a theme. And now I'd love to introduce the wonderful Eileen Ford. Thanks, Jamie. So I am Eileen Ford, an admissions and recruitment specialist here at Penn LPS Online, and I am happy to let you know how you can enroll. So the requirements are pretty straightforward uh, to be eligible to enroll. Um, just two things. Uh, you have to have at least a high school diploma or GED, and you need to be proficient in English. Um, as Dr. Hearding and Jamie said earlier, it would be helpful if you had some familiarity with uh, the life sciences, but that's not mandatory. Um, so here you'll see the upcoming deadlines. If you would like to start in fall one, and those classes start on September 1st, you would need to submit your enrollment application by August 15th. Um, if that timing doesn't work and you'd rather start in spring, our spring classes start on January 15th and you'd need to submit your enrollment form by December 15th. Um, even though those are the deadlines, it's, it's always in your best interest to get your enrollment form in uh, sooner rather than later. Okay, so now the money part. Uh, when you submit your enrollment application, there is a fee of $25. And uh, uh, the cost of each course is $2,432, $2,432 for each course. So the certificate is $97.28. Uh, but keep in mind, you will never be billed for the entire certificate at once. Uh, the bills are generated only by registration. That's what generates a bill. So you pay as you go. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to pass it back to you, Jamie. 